recommend them at the start. Well, no playthrough of this game is gonna be serious, but fine, let's do DDR. There. Cool. Well, English is GDR, but no, I'll, I'll keep German keep Democratic uh, Republic. <laughs> okay. Um, we do not have the agents at the start. Right, I, I've God, been. We have a shit ton of money. Yeah. 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 Look at all that money. You have been told that. I've been told a lot of things. Uh... Oh, also we have the wall. We Wait, the, the wall? Yeah, we have the, wall the Berlin special. Wall. Yeah. <laughs> and that redu reduces nostalgia. Weekly approval from the USSR minus 0 0.1, of course. Oh shit, minus 0 0.1. Okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah, because Gorby doesn't like it. Yeah, I know. Remember, we we are dealing with the USSR that's self-sabotaging itself, essentially. Ooh. Really now? Well, I'll just try to get as much... Um, as much income as possible. Yeah, believe me. So while I was playing as Romania that one time, the USSR turned blue. Turned blue. That's how bad it got. Yes, yeah. as an in it became. Yeah, it became which liberal. Democracy. Yeah. It left the war, so I left the Comic Con, and somehow I survived as Romania. <laughs> the higher the level, the more places. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> English <laughs> is also, great. I do believe the party and the people like you for updating the... or improving the city as well. Ah, okay. That's pretty good. Or by a little at least. Wait, why are like all these parties except the SPD legalized? <laughs> like why the fuck is the... Not... is the right wing, is NDPD <laughs> legal? I am not entirely sure. Well, we are, we aren't actually as authoritarian as say Romania over here. Is well, it? yeah, obviously. Apparently, uh, okay. So our Sovmin is Stoff, who is an Orthodox supporter of the growth supporter of profit. Of growth. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. And Stasi strength. Yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, exactly what we need. Uh. Hager is a professor of wallpapers, supporter of preserving traditions, party hierarchy, Stasi strengthening. Ooh, fighter for automation who annoys the party. The yeah, they, they seem. It, I see a trend. It seems like the. It seems like the DDR people like the Stasi. <laughs> you know, I, I'm kind of thinking that I would want to do actually. Um, German perestroika. I'm not sure if that's gonna be easy or difficult, Re but really, that'll be interesting. A bit terrifying, but interesting. Yeah. Whoa! What the fuck? Study of the nuclear weapons project? What? You didn't notice that? that oh no no no! Yeah, see, it's because there is the there's like the little sign, and I'm like, is it something that we're doing right now? Uh, but no. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Man, um, apparently, apparently the, the DDR hasn't researched the, the fucking special services surveillance. Okay, 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 bro. Ironic, as far as I remember, Romania starts with that tech, actually. Huh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, my Romanian Sh game was very weird. Basically, imagine that Kaushescu hijacked the Warsaw Pact. <laughs> if that makes sense from the USSR. Oh yeah, because the USSR turned blue. Yes. Man. Um, should we do any diplomacy at the start? Because I don't think like we can do all that much right now. We should probably set a focus for now. -ish. I mean, if we're doing a perestroika, then. Uh... If 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 we are see like we we history. yeah exactly I, I like I think that two paths well, are open sure to us to... either ultra conservative or perestroika because if we do start with ultra conservative then we'll basically have to do a lot of diplomacy with the Warsaw 
impact nations to try and prevent them from getting reformist. Hmm, right. If we are going liberal, then, then we might, you know, not, not prevent them from doing that. Hmm. Well, for now, let's just do the conservative stuff and see what happens. So, oh. what did you get told? Oh, I've been told a lot of things about, like, the, um, the CMEA, uh, and, like, just promoting nationalism, and the only downside to that is, uh, NATO hates you. Anyway, combat groups of the working class. Jesus Christ, why is there a Nazi... Imperialismo Yankee, there's a Nazi and a dollar. Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I like I like the the Cuban in the, the fucking Cuban Vietnamese poster. Um, since the beginnings of the last year, wait, should I do should I do a far German accent for this? Because te technically we're Germans, you know. Uh, even though I'm I'm definitely much better at the uh, fake should, like I feel Eastern like you Europe. Do it all I feel like you should do it at the events where we go really right wing. <laughs> oh, okay, obviously. We we could still do some like crazy right wing stuff. Like I don't think full strasserism would be a good idea, but who knows. Since the beginning of the last I think we'll year. Be able to. Why? Why? If we already are going if we are, if, if we decide to go per strike, I'm entirely sure if we'll be able to do strasserism. Oh no, yeah, 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 right. I'm I'm not sure about the perestroika. I'm just not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the composition of the organization combat groups of the working class created to protect the socialist system, according to the reports of the Stasi, has become subjects of the process of demoralization. Cases of evasion from orders became more frequent. There were cases of le leaving from the organization and literally around the corner celebration of the 40th anniversary of the GDR. Uh, what should be done in this situation? We can disband the organization and create a smaller but active and out of trusted comrades. However, you can always order the Stasi to begin the execution of their direct duties, <laughs> of course. Uh, dissolve the combat groups, creating in exchange a much more smaller assistance groups of the people's police. Feels like th that's the best idea, because it's probably going to be the less, least expensive one. It's probably gonna drive up Westalgia. See, okay, we, we should have this mini game where every time we have to guess like what this event is actually gonna do. <laughs> I am not taking a shot. <laughs> oh my god. You, you'd have to drink every time if it was a drinking game. No, it's probably gonna... I am an abstainer, sadly. I oh, know, well. no fun. <laughs> Russian abstainer. Um, okay, so... It was only 0.5 money, that's okay. And it actually didn't drive up anything else. Okay, our decision definitively allowed us to stop fearing a blow in the back, but the assistance groups will be unlikely to help us in case of a Oh, shit. That's unfortunate. That That's gonna t take away our event choices, isn't it? A little bit. Oh, oh, Alright, it's the chemical it weapons one. Ones, believe, yeah. yeah, it's chemical weapons, uh, secretly failed to comply. Why, though? <laughs> Um, what the, what does the secretly fail to comply part do even? I like chemical weapons. I mean, uh, we That's what it does. <laughs> it's literally role it playing. Have any effect on the game at all? Probably except not. In, except increasing NATO threat or something. Uh, uh, I feel like as GDR we will never betray their off the ideals of the okay. socialist art. So we aren't going for a striker then. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just don't know. See, like, I don't think that this is that important, regardless. The thing is that if we don't decide, we'll be stuck in the middle and everything will be fall falling apart around us. Radical centrism. Uh, no, see, okay, 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 <laughs> let's... Right, 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 okay, okay, okay. So, we'll do Perestroika just because I am already expecting, like, everyone who clicks on a DDR video to f either think that they're gonna do ultra-conservative or, um, or strasserism for, for the memes. So we're gonna fucking do a slow perestroika, because I've never actually managed to do perestroika in Crisis in the Kremlin. Is, I just did it a, f a few weeks ago, basically. Oh yeah, I know, but uh, I've never also, done it, so... I, but I believe there's one... There's one minister we can change to in politics that... Right, that's gonna give us... Yeah. 
Uh, supporter of the balance of management and the economy. Gorbachev's friend. Supporter of the implementation yeah, of Western type reforms. Modrov. Yeah, that's. Uh... Ooh, that's actually the the fucking leader of like stupid um, like super GDR and the Red World mod in Hoi Four. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever, yeah, Hans Modro. I'm not sure if you've ever played the mod, but it's pretty ridiculous. Red World, of course, I played it. Yeah, because for some reason, fucking Germany has Austria too, but it's just funny. All right, I think we can we can increase the speed a little bit. So I'm guessing like the the unity of the party is gonna be the biggest issue when it comes to perestroiking. Pen, yeah, yeah, actually, yes, yes, it will, because... <laughs> because democracy, it's kind of painful like that. <laughs> hmm, how are we actually gonna change from... Uh, from this to, to reformist, though? I have no idea. We'll see. Oh, probably there's gonna be some event, I right? We'll just, have to, we'll just have to move the political sliders occasion. <laughs> true, true. Um... You know, I feel like we should try to to do the economic stuff first, because if if we give too much freedoms, then it's gonna be bad. <laughs> Basically, yeah. So just increase the economy liberalization first. Get us some money. I'm not sure if it does actually give you any money. Mainly just RP value, but yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, we have fifteen. That is really good. Damn, nostalgia is already increasing way also, too much. Uh, can we build a military base? Yeah, army base. army base. Where the fuck is it? Minus zero point two. It will increase our agents as well, which is actually good. Ooh, right. We have enough agents to do this. Should we do this regardless of um, of what we're doing? Because you know, the, the most, the more stability in the USSR, the less troubles for us. Whatever we're doing, you know. How much money do we have? Seven. Money in your budget is more than one, so I think it's one or two. Uh, right. Actually, I've been told that like um, for a year or so, you should keep it like at least eight money. Because um, like there's there's expensive events regarding like the Comic Con um, coming up, so I don't know. Man, we actually have a lot of agents. Big brain. Oh, fuck, I had myself muted, I can't believe it. Yeah, you did, apparently. Okay, so, yeah, I read that comment about the 8 money thing, and I don't know how long ago he played the game, but I feel like that at least 8 should be made into at least 23 money. Okay. Because I just played a oh, shit. game recently. The Vietnamese. Uh, <laughs> Wait. We can support the conservative moderate wing of the party in their coup. No. Because we have money and agents, probably. Yeah, no, we're, we we're gonna do send. It before because we didn't have those. Yeah. We were too poor now, as Bulgaria. Is, I'm, a, I'm a bit afraid if we start dismantling the packet too quickly, things will go badly. Because I know if dismantling it too quickly will affect living standards and party unity and everything Yeah, else. exactly. Which is why I'm saying that like uh, supporting conservatives at the beginning might be a good idea. Yeah. Damn, we have a fucking lot of so, nostalgia. Uh, could we pause for a moment? Okay, yeah. Go into statistics? Yeah, uh, statistics. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't even know that this existed. That's not what I... That's not the that's not the thing I wanted to look into, although it's interesting. I meant another tab. Um I view? It's it's very yeah, it's very pixelated on mine. Okay, it's better. Uh let's see. situations. Go to situations. Situations. Control in Afghanistan. Control in Nepal, control in Yugoslavia. Strengthen of the faction of Sayuz in the USSR. I think yeah, that's what you want to see. Important to, yeah. Let's keep an eye I on that. Important to keep an eye on. 
Okay. Because if I know correctly, that's the one that wants to maintain a, you know, wants to maintain a strong socialist block at least, from what I know. Okay, so they should they and should be around, right? Will, and then falling too quickly will result in stuff happening. Yeah, and bad and stuff happening. Think, because they were very low in, they were very low in power in the part where in my game where you start turning blue. <laughs> yeah, understandably so. Uh, army base. More army base. So is growing. Yeah, it's growing way too fucking much. Damn, we need to we need to improve our fucking places. We have already um, like too many building slots. Yeah. So what happens if our nostalgia gets too high? I'm guessing like uh, a bunch of people ask for reforms or whatever. Uh, event, event. Oh, event! Shit, where? Oh, actually, it does it. It does it on its own. You don't need to click on it. <laughs> okay. Apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should. We shouldn't take this chance again, anyway. Anyway, okay. what, I was, what I was saying, I believe it just ends the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I don't even ask for reform anything. I just believe it ends the game. Uh, I didn't understand what you said actually because I was uh, I was kind of um, fixing my position. I it it's okay. I believe nostal high nostalgia just ends the game for us. Shut. Revolution, whatever the fuck, anything like that. Yeah. That's that's not good. Uh, we did not react in any way to the extraordinarily military coup that happened somewhere in the depths of Asia. Because of leaked information about human rights violations, more people are becoming displeased with the bloody policy of communism. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. Uh, yeah, we didn't make it in time. That's just a. Oh, it's just, just a default us, thing. Yeah, we failed. That's annoying. That's annoying it's as fuck. Telling us, yeah, we failed. Because, like, actually, I, uh, it's... Can, wait, pause. Can we do some diplomacy stuff? Because we are at eighty-five. That's a good number. Let's see. Okay. Uh, how about Iran? Trade diplomacy. Invite to the economic union. No. We could recognize the Syria and the Lebanon, and uh, get trade. I think that's how you get Actually, trade, right? Why? Why not? It might make USSR unhappy, but we'll be able to get trade, I believe. There we go. Got trade of Syria. Uh, integration. Coordination takes up agents, and finance takes up money, of course. Yeah. Um, see, I'm not sure who should we can support we first, can though. Can we take some of the Indo-Chinese powers? Union. Fom Vifan! Commit an act of terrorism against Kaisune Fom Vifan! Of course. Of course, an act of terrorism. Uh, Cambodia is always retarded. What about China? Can we trade with China? Relationships. We can trade with fucking China? Is that gonna be expensive? Oh, that's because... We'll see. Establish relationships first. That was not that expensive? It, it should tell you... The... Okay. German-Chinese trade. trade. Uh... Eliminate Deng Xiaoping, allowing the conservatives to retain power. Yeah, it only it only can be taken after, well, in 1991 though. Yeah. Okay. So after Tiananmen and all. Also, can we check India? Oh. India. And of course, you can. Yeah, the we, we're we're gonna definitely study the Juche regardless of what we're doing. Uh, oh, contract of the weapon supplies to India, right? Yes. Give them the Panzers. Get guarantees of political asylum and to then, our party yeah. apparatus. Wait, no, no, don't do that yet because I believe it's best to do when the strength of the party is lower. Yeah, that's probably for the unity of the party. To provoke a new Indo-Pakistan war! <laughs> Weapons were sold. Okay, so we, we can provoke Maybe that. 10. Yeah, wait. Convince our allies to impose sanctions for supporting terrorism in Afghanistan. That's probably not the best idea. Because I believe it helps Afghanistan in their control. Yeah, because but like, uh, I, we don't have that many resources right now. We, we want the USSR to fail, right? 
Uh, I'm not sure. Why, why would we want the USSR to fail? Even like even if we're doing reformism, because we don't want to destroy everything. It depends. I don't want. I don't want to do well, liberal. I, I, I want I to do reformist. Want to fail because we get Moldavia back. <laughs> of course, but that's uh, that's not a question for us. Yeah, I just I just want to get fucking Western Germany, Actually, you know. How, yeah. I want to make fucking reformist what's EU. Yeah, we can, we can help the, the, the RAF uh, make make them bomb places. Uh, start an anti-war campaign for the generals for peace. Okay. I don't know what that what would does. that would I think do? It yeah. NATO threat, uh, at least a little. Yeah, most like oh, there is some threat from NATO. Well, we'll, we'll wait for that later, and we'll wait for the the terrorism. Actually, should we try just to see if it actually does it? What the, the peace? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's five point seven right now. Nope. It decreased money. It increased approval from the USSR, and uh, yeah, it, de it decreased, but just very, very little. Okay. Oh, you can just do that like every year. Okay, I see. I see. I see. All right. So it's a thing that you can repeat. Okay. Interesting. Oh, maybe it decreased our diplomatic reputation by a little as well. Yeah, most likely because it pushed us more to the west. Yeah, decreased, of course. Secret is sell blueprints, blueprints for creating nuclear weapons. We have blueprints for nuclear weapons. We don't have any, unfortunately. Romania starts with them, though, for some reason. What the fuck? <laughs> Man. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Events in Tiananmen Square. Urgent news from China. According to the information on June the 4th in Tiananmen Square, they were gathered dissatisfied with the political cause of the CPC, mainly students. Uh, this is Nazi, of course. This content of the population most likely was caused by the merger of the party apparatus with business, the threat of inflation and unemployment. What sentiment prevailed among the protesters is still unclear, but the Chinese government reacted harshly and used troops to calm the, situ calm the situation. Uh, no, nothing happened here. I saw a meme where it's like, um, uh, the, this new, like, um, AI machine learning program can detect Photoshop. And it's like, there, there's a photo of, like, a girl with Photoshop. Yeah, it was probably on my server. And then there were, like, the tanks that had the Photoshop on it. <laughs> the fucking Tiananmen Square yes. tanks. Yes. <laughs> nothing happened. Should we somehow react to this? Of course, one should, with all the civilized world, condemn China. But we will not. Al will we not alienate a promising ally this way? The situation is complicated by the fact that the Soviet government has not yet acted. It is difficult to predict the consequences. So we can do nothing. I feel condemn. Like we should condemn them. Why? For the diplomatic reputation, so we can do more stuff. So if we condemn them, that's gonna give us diplomatic reputation or take diplomatic reputation? As a de decrease, which will allow yeah. us to do more stuff. See, I, I feel like we should just do nothing, brother, because we're trading with the fucking Chinese! We're trading with them, we need the money. Look, look, 1.3 money. Some of that like comes from... I don't feel like cancel trade if we condemn them, though, maybe. Oh, really now? You don't feel like it? You're an I idiot. <laughs> After the, like the game is not that out. of course it has, dude. You remember last the last fucking Chinese events, you know, in Christ in the Kremlin? That was ridiculous. Like whatever you did, it would fuck you over. <laughs> After the events, many Western countries condemned the government of PRC. Japan even imposed sanctions. Uh, then a bunch of English, while the socialist camp responded with simple silence. In terms of domestic policy, China is turning towards the acceleration of market reforms, which conservative forces are trying to resist. Uh, in, our case, in our case, no changes have been made. Yeah, you know, the closed trade. We don't, we don't want to do that yet. Okay. Uh, was it worth it though? Was it really worth it? Yeah, but we didn't lose anything. <laughs> no, no one cares. Literally, uh, maybe I don't even think NATO cares. No, they don't. Uh, we we just need to have fucking sharp ass eagle eyes to see all the events. 
That's the greatest part. Wait, China has turned from like teal to neutral. Yeah. Oh, because they're authoritarianism. Okay. Uh, we'll need to deal with the nostalgia even more. Shit, we do. Oh, event in Japan. Oh, fuck Japan. Red Rising. Oh, yeah, right, this one. Leave this one, sure. There is no money, but you hang on in there, Japan. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, considering the support of the JCP was as excessively unpromising project, we decided to ignore the elections as a result, even though the LDGP, LDPJ was not able to win the majority of the votes and seeds, they successfully formed a coalition. Okay. Okay. Oh, Soviet Union. You, uh... Helmut Kohl's discovery. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR, Mikhail Gorbachev, and Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany, Helmut Kohl, signed in Bonn a document declaring the right of the Eastern European states to decide which political systems... <laughs> Fucking piece of shit! <laughs> no! <laughs> At the moment, we cannot do much, but in the future, all this will lead to great problems in the socialist camp. Some are used to receiving advice from Moscow, others are relying on the armed support of the Union, and still others are developing the economy on the basis of the Soviet aid and the trade benefits. However, all this begins its reduction. The Soviet Union finally decided to leave us? If yes, then we should firmly declare the uncompromising uncom preservation of our system, increasing propaganda and giving food to dissidents. Of, of course. Or we can swing to the right and without Soviet supervision finally start reforms and satisfy the youth masses. Okay. Uh, so this is I guess where you decide to pick your path. Maybe. Yeah, obviously. We'll get other options, but... Okay, so basically we will keep the behests of the creators of communism is like conservative, I think. This is, that's conservative. Reforms is liberal and Big Brother knows best is... Feels like a slightly more neutral option. Yeah, it, it, I think it's like slight reformism. Because it's saying like, um... Even if this position is not a bluff, individuals advise us to maintain a compromise and stable position. Hmm. We'll get more options to pick our course in other major Soviet events as well, I believe. Yeah, honestly... I feel like whatever helps the Soviet Union and um, yeah, we shouldn't probably reform too fast because I remember that's a bad idea uh, and we should probably help the Soviet Union. Let's be a bitch. Uh, officially proclaimed freedom of choice. Independence and the right of each individual country to independently develop its political course, strategy, and tactics without any external interference. But this does not bother us. The next round of Soviet policy is unlikely to go beyond paper. <laughs> yeah. I finally we knew. Anyway, we should build another army base somewhere. Yeah. Or increase or or shit. Increase the cities somewhere. Yeah, I think um I think we increase actually, the cities because actually, we have no we have no spots. Yeah, find the cheapest one to decrease, like... Well, the capital is minus one, six. Really. Oh, really now? Right, there's yeah. also minus four. Okay. Sure. Oh, wow, that's a lot of slots. Yeah, that's in three, so don't worry. Uh, wait, actually, other than the army base, which other decrease nostalgia the most? Oh, uh, okay, let's go see. No sh. Because really <laughs> These menus are difficult to navigate. Uh, so, special service headquarters is minus zero two, like the army base. Alcohol factory increases it. Electronics factory decreases it by one. Slightly. Uh, research. Okay, so the army base is basically probably the best option, really. Yeah, because it gives us agent networks. Oh, that or foreign intelligence department, I believe. Or oh, no. No, that's, no, that's just the agent networks. Well, the army base you know, both, basically. 
Oh yeah, because the army base is slightly more expensive, but I'm like, the army base is just literally the foreign intelligence, but better. Because if you look, this is minus zero yeah, two, minus zero it's, two, it's, or to plus zero two, it's and... Only, it's only slightly more expensive than the foreign intelligence and special services combined together. Well, not, hmm. not, it's actually cheaper than both of them, if you yeah. combine them together. Yeah, I feel like the higher tier buildings are pretty oh, good. Nostalgia is so fucking high. Yeah, but it's see, oh, like we we yeah. just need we just need more four more military bases and then it's at zero. Oh oh shit! All the events. So the time has come. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hernaka was forced to interrupt this participation in the meeting. On the evening, he was taken to the Romanian government clinic. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just too funny. With biliary colic, after the preliminary stabilization of the health of Onica, surgery was carried out to remove the inflamed gallbladder and the part of the large intestine, apparently. Like, the, the, okay, this is in some detail. According to the urologist Peter Althaus, during the operation it was found, but due to the patient's poor conditions, the supposedly cancers were not removed in the right kidney. Uh, which Onaka was not informed about. Okay. So basically he can't do shit. Egon Krenz, one of the representatives of the moderate wing of the SED, which is to carry out a number of reforms, is ready to leave for Moscow and get permission from Gorbachev to shift Onaka. <laughs> Just shift him. So that he could be supported by other strong figures of the state. On the other hand, the unfolding situation itself leads to the transfer of powers to the head of the Stasi, Erich Milke, who has long reported to Honecker about the start of fermentations among state organizations, and will be happy to stop the discontent. It will be easiest for him to enlist the support of others, and then only to fly to Moscow in order to appear before him as the German Andropov, whom Gorbachev simply adores. <laughs> what the fuck? But we should create the risks of destabilizing the state? Let him be replaced by the Politburo! And the information to Honecker comes practically only through Gunther Mittag and Joachim Hermann. And the people do not know anything. Because you know less, you sleep more tightly. Is this fucking Goodbye Lenin? Or whatever that movie is? Um, I'm not sure. See, that, that, that movie is like the one where um, this person... Who's like a supporter of the DDR falls ill, and then like in the meantime the wall falls and shit. And so when she, when she wakes back up, like her fucking family like uh, organizes everything so that like she doesn't take the shock of uh, losing the DDR and doesn't die. And so they all act like the DDR is still around. Okay. Will be good. So who shall we go with? Hmm. Honestly, this is the time to I do the reformism. No, we will not keep Honecker. Why not go with Stasi, though? Why? Why would I go Stasi? Let's go reform and Stasi if we can. At the same time, oh, I like your thinking. <laughs> I enjoy I'm this not sure thinking. It will work, but this is good it's thinking. Very interesting. <laughs> While Honecker was in the Romanian clinic, behind us back in Berlin, a conspiracy was taking shape. Erich Mielke was success or completely dissatisfied with Honecker's passivity towards the enemies of the state, and was assured of the need for change due to the unstable situation in the world, and possible destabilization within the country, since Honecker could die at any moment, while unrest and reforms were going on in neighboring Poland and Hungary. Having enlisted the support of Mittag, who had long spoke about the need for changes in the country's economic stance. Uh, oh wait, that yeah, that's like the, the reformist guy, isn't it? Anyway, when he was presented himself to Gorbachev as German Antropov, he began seizing power. Early in the morning of the next day, at a meeting of the Politburo, it was decided to send Honecker to honorary pension for health reasons. <laughs> I love the health reasons. Appoint Comrade Milke as the new general secretary and leave the former ruler to be treated in Romania on state subsidies. <laughs> on state subsidies. <laughs> fucking hell, he's now literally fucking minimum wage. 
The next step was the reshuffle in the Central Committee, where the moderate faction of Krenz fell into disgrace and was replaced by new members, convinced state officials. The power has changed hands, and the people horrifyingly await state terror, a fact which the opposition began to use. Is this the best thing to have ever existed? Oh, there's an Iran event. It's time for reforms. Today we heard news about the death of the Iranian... Oh, right, Hayatollah Khomeini. He dies in 89. He was a very important figure in the Islamic world, so with his death, a lot of things can change. Perhaps we should send them at least our condolences. Also, we should not forget about the Iran-Iraq conflict, even if it ended a year ago. But we can cool our relationship with Iraq and a whole bunch of other countries that support it if we had reacted to this event in the wrong way. Now, considering what we're doing, Saddam Hussein is a good person, so... <laughs> so we do not support fucking Iran. <laughs> uh, maybe the Near East will calm down or... No, 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 no. Died? Well, it's nice! <laughs> I mean, I don't, th I don't think anyone around here would like fucking Ayatollah Khomeini too much. The new Ayatollah who came to power has reformist views. Soon the situation in Iran will change. It's not clear whether this will be good or bad. Mm, I do not know. Question, Question marks and like little dots. We can embargo them or trade them. International sanctions introduced. Uh, okay, so that's gonna... That's gonna uh, need uh, the I war. We need, to, we need to wait, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna need the war to happen, I think. An event. 